What's up guys, thank you so much for tuning in. today's video as you can tell by the title we'll be going over some hair growth tips for your locks because you know these things ain't gonna grow on their own all right and without any further ado we're just gonna get into it and the first tip is number one leave your hair alone let it grow let it grow you know what i'm saying a lot of us start our lock journey because we want a less tedious process with dealing with our hair just leave your hair alone let it grow um, don't try too many things because then you can like literally mess up your hair But definitely want to try stuff and step out there do different stuff with your locks and the next tip is to do your research Make sure you um, look up different stuff to make your hair grow Like a lot of people say rice water. You can just try that try rice water and Then a lot of people just say like me do nothing coconut oil may help your hair grow peppermint oil may help Help your hair grow and the next tip to help you grow your hair is to Find out what helps it be, you know, nourished, what makes what makes it feel clean. As long as you keep your hair clean, your hair will grow. <laughs> Do things to make it happy, make it feel moisturized, then it will grow. A lot of the time, if your hair is really dry, it most likely will not grow the way that you want it to. It'll probably grow, but like at a very slow pace, you know what I'm saying? Another tip to help your hair grow is to do scalp massages scalp massages are awesome like literally i know you guys probably hear this a lot but it's very true and it really works like i'll just do it randomly but throughout the time that i've done it it did help my hair grow like it, it helped my hair grow faster than it would without me doing it but you can do those like every day five minutes you can do it for a minute just you know anything any uh, just as long as you're doing it your hair will definitely grow a lot faster another tip to help you grow your locks is to do the upside down method you lay upside down on your bed and you either your bed or your couch and you do that like for i think five minutes or one minute it doesn't really i'm not sure about that you can definitely look into that but it's you don't want to do it for too long obviously that could lead to health issues but it'll definitely help you grow your hair because you get a lot of blood flow into your scalp a lot of the blood from your body goes to your scalp when you do that so that's really the increase of blood flow will definitely increase hair growth so keep that in mind try out oils oils are really good for me that's what helped my hair grow i think it's like putting any type of oil in my hair in any way like if you do the water put the oil in your spray bottle and you do that every day and boom your hair will grow as long as it's getting to the scalp as well the best oils i recommend for baldness or like areas of your hair that isn't growing like every other part of your hair i recommend peppermint oil and i recommend jamaican black castor oil like real authentic jamaican black castor oil if you just put that on your trouble area or like an area that you see is like like i was saying just getting thinner or like not growing any type of hair try that out because it definitely helped my hair grow over here because like i was balding a little bit you know i called it balding i just had hair loss i guess you could say my hair wasn't growing it was getting thin in that area and that really helped peppermint oil and jamaican black castor oil remember that make sure you don't collect buildup make sure you don't collect buildup. Buildup is the worst thing to ever get in your hair. Like I've experienced this, you guys know. Check out my channel, check out the videos on my channel because it's been a real journey with this buildup. Make sure you're washing your hair and if you see anything in your hair, make sure you get it out. Don't just like pick at your hair because like I know that that can lead to breakage. But like if you can and it's easy to get out, then do that. If not, then grab some tweezers and make sure you're getting that lint or whatever it is exactly so you don't accidentally pull out one of your strands, which could be the exact strand that's holding your locks together. When you wash your hair and get the buildup out, your hair can flourish. And if the buildup's still in there, your hair's gonna grow, but it's just not gonna be healthy. So this is how you get healthy long hair, you know what I'm saying? Another thing to help you grow your long hair, and I only put myself in this category because my hair literally stops at my bra strap. So I think that's pretty long if you go extreme. Another thing I would say to grow long healthy hair is to eat right, definitely eat right. Put nice healthy food in your body, um, fruits and veggies daily. Definitely, I sound like a doctor, but honestly, truly that's what you need and drink water a lot. Like make sure you drink water. I don't understand how anybody just doesn't drink water or doesn't like the taste of water. That's your business. I'm not judging you for that, but baby, you gotta drink water, like seriously. And people say that's good for healthy and clear skin, but you know, I drink water pretty often and I still struggle with acne. 
it's okay but it will literally help your hair grow that that's that's a definite will help your hair grow eating the right things and drinking the right things if you're just drinking soda every day it's not gonna help your hair grow sweet i'm sorry i know it's delicious if you're eating pizzas every day if you're eating chips talkies specifically every day honey it's not gonna help your hair grow you don't have to cut it you don't have to you don't have to cut it you can eat them once a week you know i know they're delicious but you gotta you gotta cut it out you know you gotta chill with the talkies you gotta chill with the hot cheetos you gotta chill with the mcdonald's I gotta chill with the Zaxby's, you gotta chill with the Chick-fil-A. Let's cut Chick-fil-A out of our diet completely because no, we don't stand Chick-fil-A. I'm trying not to eat Chick-fil-A. But yeah, just eating healthy stuff and treating your body right will in turn treat your hair right and your hair will treat you right. And the last step to help you grow long hair is to stop stressing. Literally, your hair is growing. You, you may track it every single day, especially if you're just starting off with your lock journey. You're looking at your locks every single day and you're like, this is not growing. My hair is not growing. Like, why? 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 Why is my hair not growing? I don't understand. Literally, chill out. Just calm down. Your hair is growing. Stop stressing about it. Make sure you, you know, you make sure you document your hair. If you want to see the growth, make sure you document it every single day. If you want to see it. You don't even have to do it every single day. You can start the first of the month, take a picture of the back of your head or a certain lock. And then by the end of the month or by the end of the week, you could just take a picture again and boom, 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 boom. And boom, before you know it, your hair is just flourishing and it's so long. Like you just, just gotta stop stressing about it. You gotta stop keeping your eyes on it every single second of the day. Cause that was me like every single second of the day I was in the mirror. Like I am not kidding you. I wanted my hair to be so long when I first started by the next day I wanted my hair to be locked by the next day I started my lock journey yeah let's not have expectations <laughs> like just leave your hair alone that's how that's the key to how I grew my hair I promise you I didn't do any I don't do anything to my hair like I don't do anything sometimes you know I just don't do anything sorry this is the last tip that I'm gonna do try protective styles protective styles are so good for your hair even when you're a loose natural like protective styles are there to protect your hair through you know all types of weather and it's just it's just really good to keep your hands out of your hair if you're the type of person that in the beginning of your um, lock journey or in the middle like if you just love your hair so much you always are looking at it always trying to do something different protective styles will protect your hair from your hands keep your hair occupied so you don't have to just like, keep dealing with it keep you know manipulating it and stuff and that will help your hair grow really good so try out some protective styles and protect it by protective styles i mean braids um you can do the marley twist all types of you know protective styles are if you don't google is your friend that's it for this video thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like comment down below any video suggestions that you guys may have also follow me on instagram my instagram is mike's wendy i post amazing high quality pictures on there and you're able to keep up with my lock journey on there so why not why not why not why not tap the follow button why not go to instagram and follow mrs mike's wendy <laughs> but again thank you guys so much for watching and peace Can we get into the edges though? Twist it up.